Hi guys, it is Liv from Indie Mood. Today I'm talking about something a little bit more serious than I normally do, but it's been something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and a lot of work and research went into this video, so um, I hope it can benefit even just one person. Um, this isn't always the most <laughs> comfortable topic in the world for me to talk about, but like I said, if it could help somebody or somebody could relate to it, I would have appreciated it at a different point in my life. So yeah, hopefully somebody gains something out of this or at least can relate. Um, before I start, I do want to have a disclaimer. I am going to talk about sexual assault, sexual abuse, and PTSD in this video. So if those are things that you don't want to hear about at all, then please don't watch the video. Um, just a disclaimer. And that being said, let's get started. So I'm gonna give you a little background on Kegel Bell first before I dive into what I'm specifically talking about, but Kegel Bell was created by Stephanie Scholl. She actually has a PhD in philosophy, which is super interesting. And she created Kegel Bell after her mother experienced some issues with her bladder having to get this really painful surgery, bladder mesh surgery, I think, or vaginal mesh surgery, which, you know, if later on in your life, if you've had a lot of kids and a lot of like stress on your body, that can be necessary. But basically, because of the surgery, she's in pain and uncomfortable for the rest of her life. So, uh, Stephanie was not happy with that and she decided to get into some research on how to prevent these things. Because like a lot of women's health issues, they're not talked about publicly. People are shy about them, people don't want to talk about it. So you never really learn how to take care of your body in that way. Um, for me growing up, I knew what Kegels were, but the thought process behind doing them was just to like make your vagina better for men, which is like not the point of Kegel Bell at all. So that is another reason I really like them. Uh, I'm just gonna introduce Merlin because he's gonna jump in and out the whole video. But here he is because he wants attention. Say hi. Say hi, Merlin. Hey. All right. So if you hear jingle jingle, that's him. So basically through her research, Stephanie found that traditional Kegels were not doing as much as they could and they weren't working out the entire pelvic floor and that there should be a better method to do it in a more complete way. So that's how she created Kegel Belt. Um, so it's called the Vagina Gym, which I first heard about them when I went to Indie Beauty Expo in New York over the summer, I think it was in August, and I saw a giant sign that said, the vagina gym and I was like, well, what's this? Um, <laughs> and even then I wasn't like fully convinced, like I really wanted one, but um, they were like a little bit expensive and I wasn't, I don't know, I just wasn't fully convinced. But then uh, a month or so later, Stephanie was on Natch Butte and Jackie is so great at like getting to the bottom of everything and she asked the best questions. And after that episode, I was just like, okay, I need a Kegel Bell now. Um, I just, hearing the story, the founder's story, hearing how much she cares about women's health and all the different things that Kegel, Kegel Bell can help you with. I was just so curious. So I actually purchased it myself at that time. I think it was September, October maybe. And I've been using it ever since. And yeah, in that time, um, actually, let me show you it first. So this is the main, I guess, thing. So this obviously goes inside you, this thing. There's two different sizes. So this is the smaller one and this is a bigger one. So if this is like, it's too challenging, like it falls out too easily, then you use this. Because women are different, our bodies are all different. We're all shaped differently. So there's two different sizes. So um, basically you have three different weights here. So there's, um, this little guy A, and B, or this is B, and then this is C. They match my nails. So they all kind of like connect to, like they can go together, and it makes it really easy to store them. But basically there's a ton of combinations you can do, like you just start 
with the lightest one and see how that is for you. And then if that's not challenging at all, you add the second one and the third one. And when they're all together on the thingy, they look like this. So I'll show you how to put it on. <laughs> you take the weight and you kind of put it on in the way this is like rubbery, it makes it like not fall off. And then it has a little ball at the end, so it just hangs there. So like you can picture this is inside your vagina and then this is hanging out and it's just a gentle amount of weight. And then you just add more. So let's say you want more. So you put the second one on there and then it goes down like that. So you can play with whatever works for you. Um, my story kind of begins here. So I purchased a Kegel Bell after listening to Jackie's episode, uh, Natch Butte, with this, the founder of Kegel Bell. And immediately, hey, Merlin's playing with it. <laughs> he thinks it's a toy. Um, immediately I found that, I don't know, I felt like I was doing it wrong. I couldn't feel any challenge at all. Like I put all the weights on immediately and it was just like stuck there. And then um, I used a ton of lube and it was just stuck there. So I was like, what? Like I must be doing something wrong. I don't know how, it's pretty hard to mess up something like this. Um, but I actually reached out via email and was just explained the situation. Like I was like, I'm pretty sure I'm not the like incredible Hulk. You know, I have the strongest vagina in the world. Like what am I doing? And Surprisingly, Stephanie actually set up a phone call with me and that day we ended up talking for hours like I will never forget that like <laughs> She knows my whole life story now because you know She just asked me a bunch of questions and then I kind of like was talking about my issues with sexual trauma and just sexual things in general and how sex is often painful for me and I don't know just a lot of things like that and um, I came to realize that it's quite possible that my pelvic floor muscles are attached to that memory of trauma. And I have PTSD, so I occasionally have panic attacks or nightmares like relating to the sexual trauma. And I'm not going to go into that because that's not what this video is about, but I do have a past of sexual trauma. So it, it started to make sense. And we just ended up talking for so long. So then basically she gave me a ton of advice. She was like, don't give up. Here's a bunch of different things you can try like pushing it out and pulling it in, like all kinds of crazy stuff. She's like, I don't want to send you the bigger weight yet because she does have like an expansion pack <laughs> if you're like super strong um, that you can buy to have more weights. But like if you ever hold it in your hand, like this is pretty heavy. Um, so she was like, I don't want to send you that too soon because it's like be too much for your body and we don't want that. So basically I took a month and I messed around with it, like I did it, you're supposed to do it five minutes, three times a week, which is a really small amount of time to dedicate. Um, and it makes a big difference, which is crazy. It's just like simple five minute time. It's pretty fun. So <laughs> um, I was messing around with that and I found that like, if I could meditate and get my, if I was in a really calm state of mind, I wasn't nervous. I was just kind of like, you know, just doing my thing that it did become challenging. So I realized that I do have this issue of um, holding a lot of tension in my pelvic floor. And it just it made sense to me. So then I started realizing like, and I explained it to Stephanie in this way. It was sort of like, like I have ADHD. So a lot of the times, I don't know if this happens to other people with ADHD, I've heard it's a thing with us, but I, I clench my jaw and you know, some part of the day I'll realize like, oh my God, like I've been clenching my jaw for like an hour straight and then I release it and I can feel it release. Well, what I was feeling with the Kegel Bell was similar to that. There would be no challenge with all three weights and then I would just go to a place in my mind and relax and relax that muscle and it would, you know, slip out. So. I started to realize that I had lost the connection between that part of my body and my brain, that muscle with my brain. Um, that muscle was just acting on its own to survive, if that makes sense. Sounds super weird, but um, yeah. And I keep in my head being like, I can't believe I'm talking about this and I'm gonna post this online. But again, like I said, if this helps one person, I'm happy. So basically, 
I was just kind of like discovering this about myself through using this and I just never thought that this fun <laughs> vagina gym was going to bring that into my life. So since then I have done a lot of research and I will link below some of the really helpful articles as most things with women's health and sexual trauma, there's not a lot of research and not a lot of people doing anything, um, but there is a really great slideshow about the connection between sexual trauma and the pelvic floor, um, both emotionally, physically, and the physical things can lead up to health issues down the line. So it's very, very interesting. So yeah, that, that was my journey. And I think, um, I think that's enough. Uh, I will do, I do have a, an indie lube. <laughs> so to make it more challenging and it's like recommended to do this, you use a lube with the Kegel Bell and it makes it slippery, more slippery, of course. So this is the Sexy Serum from Java Skincare and I love this stuff. It's an oil, so you can use this with condoms. Like this will break a condom, so don't use it with a condom. It says it on the bottle. but. If you're not using a condom, whatever, for whatever reason, this is great. It just, it's so like, it feels nice. And it actually is like moisturizing and hydrating in a place where you wouldn't normally think to do that, but it's just nice. So this is my preferred lubricant to use with the Kegel Bell. And um, yeah, I think in closing, like this is a great product. It's made by a woman for a woman's health. And, um, yeah, over the past few years, I've done a lot of work on my trauma and I like healed a lot and like really alleviated a lot of the problems I had, but this was something I didn't even realize was connected. And I'm just really grateful that I was able to like find this out through a way that I didn't expect. While like, you know, sort of having fun and having this like journey of discovery. So um, yeah, I love the fact that it's a woman founded brand and there's so many different things it can help with. Of course, doing these Kegel exercises is great for things like incontinence, um, just looseness, looseness of muscles. I know a lot of women have trouble when they're running or doing exercising, like having a little bit of leakage, and this helps a lot with those things. It also helps preventatively, um, especially if you have kids, have, have, are going to have kids or planning to. It makes that whole process easier. I have no experience with that whatsoever, so I can't really speak on the matter, but um, there's a whole gamut of things that this can help you with. Most importantly, it's fun. It helps you connect with your body and connect your mind to that part of your body in a way that's not sexual. It's not, um, it's, there's no heightened energy. It's just fun. And it's actually very calming for me. So um, yeah, that's my little spiel on the Kegel Bell. Um, this is the box it comes in. It's very cute. Um, and everything fits nicely into this little travel bag that she also includes with the set. So I think this is like normally like 80 or $90. It is in our on Tui shop because they were at Indie Beauty Expo. And of course I already love Kegel Bell. So they were the first one that I was like, duh, of course I'm gonna pick them. Um, and you can get 20% off with the code TheIndieMood20. Um, I'm gonna put everything in the bio. I'm gonna put all the articles I talked about, Kegel Bell's website, um, the podcast episode of Natch View with the founder of Kegel Bell, as well as our Antui shop and the discount code. So if you are interested in this product, you can get it for 20% off. It is expensive, it seems expensive at first, but for me, it was totally worth it. I think I used Jackie's. <laughs> coupon code for this one. Um, so I don't think I bought it at full price either, but it is worth it. Um, yeah, everything will be in the bio. Let me know if you have any questions, of course. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to us. It's so hard to get subscribers, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm just like screaming into the wind and nobody's hearing me. That's very dramatic, but if you're on YouTube, please subscribe. If you are on Instagram, please follow us. P post a comment, give us a like, whatever. Um, Instagram is really making it hard for creators to be seen and it's not your fault, it's not our fault, it's not anyone's fault, but it does become frustrating at times. So we love talking to you guys any chance we get. Um, and that's it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!